Good morning. Time again for Coffee and Jesus here at Abundant Life Homestead Ministry, where every weekday, Monday through Friday, we take another step in the Connections Bible Study. The Connections Bible Study is based on the Revised Common Lectionary and is studied by millions of Christians around the world. Today's passage comes from the New Testament. Every Tuesday we read a New Testament passage, and today is Tuesday, September the 12th. We are reading Romans chapter 14, verses 1 through 12. And as we read through these, we write down any thoughts, any ideas, any way that this particular scripture hits us today. And we ask that uh, you do the same, and if you... <laughs> would like please share those thoughts and ideas with us in the comment section below we'd love to hear it and i'm sure other listener or other viewers would love to uh see what you have to say as well when we get multiple opinions together it does really help everybody get a better grasp on the scripture because we all have different perspectives and come from different areas um have different life experiences so we hits us all differently mm -hmm. so we are continuing our walk through romans and it's almost over almost today is the weak and the strong except the one whose faith is weak without quarreling over disputable matters one person's faith allows them to eat anything, but another, whose faith is weak, eats only vegetables. The one who eats everything must not treat with contempt the one who does not, and the one who does not eat everything must not judge the one who does, for God has accepted them. Who are you to judge someone else's servant? To their own master, servants stand or fall, and they will stand, for the Lord is able to make them stand. One person considers one day more sacred than another. Another considers every day alike. Each of them should be fully convinced in their own mind. Whoever regards one day as special does so to the Lord. Whoever eats meat does so to the Lord. For they give thanks to God, and whoever abstains does so to the Lord and gives thanks to God. For none of us lives our lives alone, and none of us dies ourselves alone. If we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. For this very reason, Christ died and returned to life so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. You then, why do you judge your brother or sister, or why do you treat them with contempt? For we will all stand before God's judgment seat. It is written, as surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow before me, every tongue will acknowledge God. So then, each, is, each of us will give an account of ourselves <clears throat> to God. So, I, I missed it. Did you mention that you were reading out of New International? I did not. Okay. That was New International version. Why would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not always a requirement. I just... I gave the title. <laughs> I, 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 I like to do it beforehand, you know. I normally do. I just... So, I'm tired. But today, I'm going to read out of the Amplified. That is one of my of staple translations. And they title this, Principles of Conscience. As for the one whose faith is weak, accept him into your fellowship, but not for the purpose of quarreling over his opinions. One man's faith prevents, permits him to eat everything, while the weak believer eats only vegetables, to avoid eating ritually unclean meat or something previously considered unclean. The one who eats everything is not to look down on the one who does not eat, and the one who does not eat must not criticize or pass judgment on the one who eats everything. For God has accepted him. Who are, who are you to judge the servant of another? Before his own master he stands approved or falls out of favor. And he who serves, his, who serves the master, the Lord, will stand, for the Lord is able to make him stand. One person regards one day as better or more important than another, while another regards the day 
regards every day the same as any other. Let everyone be fully convinced, assured, and satisfied in his own mind. He who observes the day observes it for the Lord. He who eats, eats for the Lord, since he gives thanks to God. While he who abstains, abstains for the Lord, and still gives thanks to God. None of us lives for himself, for his own benefit, but for the Lord. And none of us dies for himself, but for the Lord. If we live, we live for the Lord. If we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For Christ died and lived again for this reason, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. But you, why do you criticize your brother? Or again, why do you look down on your believing brother or regard him with contempt? For we all stand before the judgment seat of God, who alone is to judge. For it is written in Scripture, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, every tongue shall give praise to God. So then each of us will give an account of himself to God. Okay. So, I think it's um, important in the whole context of the scripture just to keep in mind that Paul isn't talking about everyone and everything. He's talking about believers and really matters of principle concerning spirituality. Um, and he is also still trying to teach people how to coincide the Jews and the Gentiles. Yes, yes. And, and that, that's why he starts it out with the eating meat and not eating mm -hmm. meat. Because the Gentiles would eat, could eat pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. And the Jews, some would only eat certain meats and some were so far away from meat they would they were vegan. And yeah, that's that's really why he starts out with mm -hmm. that. Because you've got Jews and, Jews and Gentiles coming in together to the Roman church. Which, when we bring it into present times, um, we can have the different denominations. Mm -hmm. Different denominations believe have different beliefs on the um, insect, inconsequential things. Uh, it's not vital to salvation. Mm -hmm. Believe what you want to believe, and that's that's the big thing. Mm -hmm. it's, but but it also doesn't he he's not saying to accept everything you know so someone mm -hmm. who is living in sin and saying it's for the lord right. or someone who's doing things just to get attention mm -hmm. saying it's for the lord you know you you can't be committing adultery and having like five and six wives and say but it's for god and that mm -hmm. makes it okay you know we we can't He's not telling us not to criticize, like, Westboro Baptist Church holding up God hates fags at soldiers' funerals. No, because that's, mm -hmm. the whole premise there is wrong, you know. Mm -hmm. Especially when it contradicts God. doesn't hate yeah. them. He just, he, it's the sin. So. <clears throat> but it's the people that don't eat ham. Mm-hmm. Versus. People that do. People or, that do. or you can look at it in a lot of matters of the church today, like, okay, it's water easy. baptism. Yeah. Do you believe that it has to be full immersion? I believe it's whatever. It, it can be full immersion, sprinkling. head dunking, sprinkling. You can shoot them with a super soaker in the name of the Father, <laughs> Son, and Holy Spirit, and it's okay. <laughs> that might be a stretch. <laughs> I'm not saying I fully believe that. I'm just making an example. I, you know, and I, I might... Okay, I'm gonna laugh at you, but if that's what if mm. that's where your conviction is, that's cool. Or um, communion. Well, I'm not gonna take communion every week because I believe it's a it's a more sacred thing for special occasions. But you you will take communion every week and every day if you want. Mm. Um, many things, music, modern music versus hymns. Mm -hmm. These are things that are uh, translations of the Bible. I'm reading the Amplified. There's some people who are King James only. Yeah. There's some people, well, I really like NIV. I don't like your Amplified. Well, I don't like your NIV. You know, are we going to fight about it? No. And that's, that's really one of the reasons why I, and I think we, so closely al align with the Nazarene Church. Mm -hmm. Because the Nazarene point of view is, 
If it's not critical to salvation, we don't need a dog in that fight. You go right ahead and read the Passion Translation and, and the Amplified. And, you know, we might even encourage you to read three or four others and get, and get that study. And if you want our pastor to give you a full immersion baptism, he'll do it. If you want our pastor to do a sprinkling baptism, he'll do it. We're not going to fight about it. Because it's not vital to salvation. Now, if you say that, well, I don't have to believe that Jesus raised from the dead because I don't want to believe that. No, we're going to fight about that. Because that is critical to salvation. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so, um, I, one of the things that I pointed out, and I'm, I'm afraid I may have gone too far, um, because at first, oh, don't be afraid. I can't read. And um, <laughs> I was like in 20 before I was like, oh, wait. I read, so, the, whole, <laughs> I, I read the whole chapter anyway. Yeah. Um, but we need to be careful not to be a hindrance to another's faith. Mm -hmm. Is that mm -hmm. outside of? Yeah, that's, that's okay. like the, the verse right after uh, verse 13. <laughs> not to um, in, in Amplified, it says, let us. Let us not criticize one another anymore, but rather determine this. Determine not to put an obstacle or a stumbling block or a source of temptation in another believer's way. This is our last week in Romans. Yep. I told you it's almost over. I know, but I thought we still had another week. Yeah. Um, no, and and, well, and I kind of included that in my notes, Okay, too. well, I'm going to go ahead with it because it's yeah, you're fine. important you're fine. because... <clears throat> That's another thing that's big in the Nazarene beliefs is we need to make sure we're not doing something to trip you up. Mm -hmm. um, a big thing is alcohol. Um, we know that some of our brothers and sisters struggle with alcohol. So we're going to abstain for them. Yeah. So we don't want to make them trip and fall. And um, see, and that's anything. I mean, um, that, that, if you know that even not even based in their faith if you know that someone comes from an abusive background mm -hmm. and um they have certain triggers if you know what those are you're careful not to use those so that you're not bringing about their hurt before and so, while they're still working through it and and, and that's something that um, we talk about that especially when you're when what you were saying with the alcohol and stuff and pastor todd's class a lot you know sin is can be different for different people what's a sin for me to do mm -hmm. because of my conviction it may not be a sin for you to do but if you do it in a way that causes me the sin mm -hmm. then that can become your sin so you know i I know you're an alcoholic, and I come plop down beside you with a beer. <laughs> you don't get one, but I'm gonna sit here and drink mine. That would become that would become my sin too, and mm -hmm. and it does kind of it it kind of gets into the in beyond verse thirteen. So if you have time, read read the entirety of, of Romans fourteen. It, it, it's but a good read. Even what we read here, it talks about. Um, the levels of faith and how the ones that have little faith only eat vegetables. So you and, don't and know where yeah. where the people are in their faith the, and there's a there's a bit in that we, we, we shouldn't have a, a prerequisite for someone's maturity in Christ mm -hmm. to bring them into our fellowship. But also, you have Paul kind of assigning levels to faith, because he's really talking about the legalistic ones, mm -hmm. but telling us not to judge and criticize, but he's calling them weak, which is kind of a judgment, you know? <laughs> he's a human, too, though. Yeah. 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 And I think um, you can actually learn a lot yeah. when you have the varying degrees of faith. Um, even those who have great faith you can still learn much from those who are growing mm -hmm. you can see and, and, your own growth through them as well and I, I really like that where you're growing in faith versus weak versus strong because when, when you look at it the way paul looked at it where the legalists were weak 
the weak legalists would look at us and say we we're weak for not being able to follow those laws and they are the strong ones and we're saying we're strong for being able to break away from the laws and they're weak for being attached mm -hmm. to them and and stuck to them you know there's there's two sides of that but mm -hmm. but nobody can argue you know no matter how different we are from a different church we can't argue that you're young in your faith you just came to jesus this guy's been around he's been with us for 20 years we've learned a lot from him from the bible you know we, we can't argue that that's why i like the the spiritual maturity much better than the weak versus strong mm -hmm. because each side always sees themselves as strong and the others you don't weak. know where that person began either mm -hmm. someone that appears to be weak in their faith could have been grown tremendously to get to the point that they are now and, and could have been very spiritually mature and come down with a disease that god didn't heal and they're in times of weakness you know the, and we, we don't, don't know that the big stuff. Thing That's is, why we should always treat We don't them the same. know what we don't know. Mm -hmm. We don't know what everyone's going through. And um, I think the safest assumption is that every person you meet is going through something. Mm -hmm. Just assume they're dealing with something too. Yeah. And. Mm -hmm. I know we don't like making assumptions, but I think that's a safe assumption to make. Um, it's a safe assumption that everybody, yeah. It doesn't matter how big it is. What you're going through may seem inconsequential to me, but it's big for you. Yep. It, 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 it may be my trauma, but you've been there, done that. Mm -hmm. It ain't trauma for you. Right. Yeah. You know. We'll cross that bridge and <laughs> 50 miles back mm -hmm. and... But it's like, oh, you know what? I remember that. I was there. Let me help you through that. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I've done a lot recently. God uses, he uses our trials to help others. And, um, but if we just throw that in their face, you know, rather than let me help you. Mm-hmm. And instead, it's, I've been there. It's fine. You'll be okay. Just move along. That's not helpful. <laughs> um, I, 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 we get a little little off track. We sorry. were on on principles versus problems. But yeah. I, I did uh, I did go a little bit beyond 12 in, in with my notes because it, it, it's mostly in 1 through 12, but I added... This little thing that you'll probably notice. We should not judge or expect to change others based on their beliefs. It is based on their beliefs, not critical to salvation, nor should we expect to be judged or made to change for the same. So long as everything we do is for the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you have to get into 13 and beyond for that change. You know, don't be, mm. we, we have, we have no business trying to change that. You know, if, if, well, you have family who were raised not eating meat for spiritual reasons. Mm -hmm. We can make fun of their fake meat all day long. <laughs> it is good. I know you love it. <laughs> but, you know, we, we, we can play in that, but not, you know, not going to confront, not going to go con confront your uncle mm -hmm. and say, this is wrong because God says this and Paul says this and... Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I it's do like, say this stuff is gross. I'm not eating this. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's like okay, you know, you don't eat meat, and I accept that he that they don't eat meat, and they accept that we eat meat. We've mm -hmm. had the conversations before, mm -hmm. you know. So that that stuff, you, you don't. There's no. We have no right to try to change them. No, and actually, we belief. we learn a lot from each other, because um, that's something I'm always having different conversations, and. Um, it's it's I find it interesting to learn about the different faiths and um because when you boil it down we all believe so very similarly that we and we get hung up on the little things that really don't matter so when you get two individuals that have different beliefs but are willing to have an open conversation mm -hmm. 
which I get a lot at family, some of the family um, gatherings. Um, we can have those conversations because I'm not being judged. I'm not judging them. And we're trying to understand. And I even get a lot of that in that time we spend at the boys' school. Mm. I mean, we're Nazarene, they're Baptist. And we're all good friends. And I will laugh at each other sometimes, but we don't we don't judge, we don't try to Because I mean when it comes down to it, the it. differences are so so small. Yeah. And but one thing that I got here, um I'm already starting my little trend. But <laughs> um love one another and show grace <laughs> when there are different beliefs. I think a big part of this goes right back into love one another because that's what we should do <laughs> if 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 you hold on especially like uh, like a grudge to anybody's differences mm -hmm. you can't properly love them mm -hmm. so if you were loving them the way god intends for us to love them you don't even you don't even see the those principal differences mm -hmm. they're just not there that's one thing I was so excited to study in my classes was the different religions of the world. Because I like to know, why do you believe what you do? And studying them, um, get down to the basics, and you see where they began and what their beliefs are. And it's like, well, that's really not terribly different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You mean, you say different religions, you mean different denominations? Or no, different, actually some of the... It's completely different religions. Some of the religions are, I mean, you boil it down and they have similar beliefs. I mean, their deities are often different, but their belief system yeah. is very similar, which is, I find very interesting. And, but if you understand what they're coming from then you can know how to teach about jesus as well and see where jesus falls in with what they already know and sometimes it's just a little tiny hop yeah and you know and and, and that's it's a bit away from what it's we're talking about. It's a lot. It's really far yeah, away. Yeah, because, you know, it, <laughs> yeah, if, if you're talking to someone who's either an unbeliever or another religion, yes, by all means, strive to change that. Yeah. But among your own yeah. brethren, believers in Christ, we, we've got no business no, trying to no, change the little things. Not at all. Unless you read the wrong Bible. I mean, come on. <laughs> I think it's very helpful to read multiple oh, yeah. versions. Oh, yeah. So uh, I I love my Dake Study Bible it has four four translations on every page, and I will read all of them. I like to just pre, randomly choose pre, different versions. Pre Advent of Bible on the cell phone, mm -hmm. because now I'm just. I have the one, uh, it's not Dake, and it's uh, actually a lot harder. Yeah. Because they're all mostly the old English. Yeah. Um, but it's actually a church. Hmm. So. Okay. So, rise above your differences. Mm -hmm. Differences of principle. Love through our differences. Love your differences. I like that. Love your differences. I said love through our differences, but... Yeah. Love our differences. Love our differences. That's how we learn. Yeah. Truth. We aren't all the same. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have any? Mm, no. Okay. No, new, no new comments and no new emails today. Okay. At least when I checked an hour ago. <laughs> Father, we thank you for your word and wisdom that you uh, bestow upon us and there's so much wisdom that we can glean and we are thankful that everyone 
is different and you know, we are able to um, embrace our differences and accept them for what they are and love you ultimately through all of them and we just ask that you help us to um, not see the differences as a barrier but as another way to connect with one another in our love for you. We ask that you be with everyone that's watching and listening and just help um, them to be a light to all of those around them. And just let us all be a light for you in this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So... Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday, September 13th. I am bound and determined to get every day right this week. <laughs> I usually mess I up at faith. least one day a week. I have faith. Tomorrow is Wednesday, September the 13th. And we are in Exodus. We are in Exodus. We always read an Old Testament on Wednesday. This is Exodus chapter 14, verses 19 through 31. Interested to see where that one goes. I mean, I already know, but I like Exodus. Yes, I say that like there's books I don't like. Okay. Numbers can get there, a little there's dry. Some, there's some books <laughs> that are hard to read. Okay, so uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, prayer requests, leave them in the comments below. And if there's something you don't wish to wear, wear. Well, I, in a way, they don't want to wear it on the outside. They want to they want to share it privately. Share <laughs> publicly. You can send it to us in an email at ministry.alh at gmail.com. All right. Anything else to wear? <laughs> I'm wearing a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we thank you for joining us today. Thank you for sticking with it, and uh, we love you all. We hope you have a blessed day, and we will see you tomorrow, bright and early.